Mm-hmm. Andrew? Yes. I also see that you offer consultations on your, on your website. And can you indicate the type of issues people might want to discuss and explore? Yes. Um, there are many, many different occurrences in life when people want to examine themselves more deeply, want to examine their relationship with the world more deeply, and where people are frankly lost. So, for example, um, people will come to me who have lost a loved one. They're either grieving for someone who has recently died, or they're grieving for the end of a relationship. And both these things are very, very difficult to get through. And um, people often want to know why they're feeling the way they're feeling. They want to hold on to something bigger than themselves. They want to hold on to an understanding that of how this happened and why this happened and what is the bigger picture. Where can they find comfort and solace? in these dark moments and uh, I adapt my uh, teachings obviously for uh, for them and uh, give them a, a far deeper understanding than is available from uh, most quarters on what death and dying is about and how to face it um, and uh, how to be with it. I don't like the concept of getting over it, but simply to be with it, how to be comfortable, and how to find out what the learning lessons are in this, these difficult times. So that's two examples, um, grieving for a relationship or grieving for... And a, another one, obviously, is someone who is facing death. People who know that they're going to die, they need help in preparing themselves for that. If uh, consciousness has risen in people, then, but there are so many different ways they can look, so much they've heard, is there life after death, what's it going to be like, what should happen? And even preparing their families for a forthcoming death of how the family should behave, what's the best thing they should do, and uh, I can uh, teach people uh, all of these practical things to deal in the situation. Another situation is in this fast-moving world of gender fluidity, of queer and gay rights and so on. I think uh, there's a lot of confusion inside people, uh, people who have been spiritual, people who've been religious, and uh, they are trying to balance, in spite of what the churches are saying, in spite of what the religions are saying. There is a discomfort in many people about their spirituality and the way that they're feeling about their gender or their sexual inclinations. So this is another area in which we can become much more coherent. And if people are prepared to talk about this aspect of themselves, uh, I can help them put it all within a spiritual context that makes them feel very comfortable and uh, will guide them and will hold their hand, so to speak, from this moment on. Hello, my dear friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below. And make sure to like this video, share it if you think anyone can benefit from it, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. So we can keep you updated on more awesome videos on yoga, mindfulness, spirituality, psychology, etc. Thank you so much.